The branding of cattle and horses can be a controversial subject, but do you really know why and how they do it? So come with me today as we step into a sometimes secretive world of ranching and find out the truth about branding. Long for a ride. So you have the job that typically ends up with a whole bunch of crap on your jeans. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See if you can get off by yourself. It's a long ways down. Goodness. <laughs> what happened to him? I got kicked. You got you got injured? <laughs> it's much easier to do when their feet are actually even with each other and close together. Right? Yes, it is. <laughs> Otherwise, they just it gets too long and then they get away from you. <laughs> Branding day doesn't start with branding the calves. It starts much earlier in the morning. The cattle are spread out over a large area, and the first thing you have to do is round them up and put them in a corral. I came from the mud. So once the pairs have been brought into the corral and separated into cows and calves, the cows are turned out. So there's two ways to brand calves once they've been separated. The first way is the old fashioned way where you go out and rope them in the open and you brand them out next to a fire. The second way is what this ranch does. And that involves running them into a chute, laying them on a table to brand. So these calves are now ready to run up the alleyway into the chutes. So you have the job that typically ends up with a whole bunch of crap on your jeans. Yeah, unfortunately I do. Yeah. Get over there really quick too and get on the like yeah. push down. Like yeah. Scooch over here really fast. Oh, five. Oh, okay. Scooch Okay. Ah. I feel like this could be a hot topic, so I'm going to stop right here and explain what she's actually giving those calves. It's called Ral Grow. This is actually not a steroid, but because it acts like a steroid um, is why she was saying that. It helps for any age of animal actually utilize whatever feed you're giving it to a higher potential. So it, it, uh, com it binds to the estrogen in their system, enables them to utilize the nutrients that they're getting. It's kind of like a, a slow release, long-term vitamin. You can go ahead and look it up. Here's, I'll put a link down below to the, to the university and Ralgro website. You can decide for yourself. I thought that was kind of interesting, so I put it in here. Five. The smoke that you see here is all hair. When you burn through all this hair, 
it smokes like crazy. And the smell is terrible and it stays with you. It's like, it gives you a headache and stays up in your nasal cavity for the whole day. So to people who aren't familiar with this at all, branding can be very like traumatizing because you're not used to seeing animals being, you know, run through a chute like this. Number one, this is not very traumatizing on the cat. Literally two hours out of their life is right here. It's about like going to the doctor for checkup or maybe the dentist. It's not really fun at all but it lasts a very short time and it's very essential to their well-being. When they run them through here, they not only brand them, but they give them a bunch of a vaccine and they do an ivermectoron on the top of their back. And that, it kills any parasites inside their body so that they can stay healthy. I'm just gonna interrupt your content for just a moment to ask you if you enjoy it. I, am I doing a good job? If I am, if there was only something that you could do to show me that you wanna see more. Hmm, oh, 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 that's right. You could hit the subscribe button and the bell. I appreciate it. Branding is usually an entirely family affair. All the kids get involved. Lots of friends come over to help sort and everything. It kind of gives everybody a job. That's my daughter trying to pan pill to me. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I'm waiting for the perfect time to jump on one of them. Been, been riding a couple, have you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> five. So Corey, when you say five or ten or whatever, what are you, what are you telling me? Uh, CC's a Corey. We're done. How many, how many CC's? Yeah. Yeah. thing just to kind of to prevent it. You know, that's how bad they have it. Five's to kind of prevent it or clear up the, the ones that don't have it too bad. That one, they could tell, had it pretty bad. I see. So some of these calves have to be, they have to give them a little bit of an antibiotics sometimes. Usually it's for something like uh, scours, which is like dysentery. It's really bad for diarrhea in the calf. And you either give them antibiotics so, or they will die on you. And you know, a lot of people, a lot of in the news and people get upset about, oh, give them antibiotics. Cause like, like we give them antibiotics for just for the fun of it. No rancher really wants to give their animals antibiotics. Cause that means there's something wrong with them. Um, even an organic, like a completely organic herd, you have, you have to separate out the ones that you ended up having to give antibiotics to cause they're sick. So if you don't, it's not really a choice of like, oh, should we give them antibiotics so they develop faster or something? It has nothing to do with it. It's the fact that you either give them antibiotics or they die. That's really the choice we're left with out here. And uh, you, when your herd is your life, these calves are the, are the money you're gonna make for the entire year. You, that choice becomes pretty expensive. Inevitably, the conversation turned to, what do you do if you run into a grizzly bear? You never know how fast somebody's gonna run until you get hey, a bear after Hey, I run faster when I have competition. Once I get over screaming like a little girl and wet my pants, you're in history. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll just bring Emily with then. <laughs> Emmy's toast. <laughs> Emmy's toast? What are they talking about, Em? Are they talking about... I don't away? know, I, I'm just talking about that. What are you talking about? She's slow. <laughs> what are you doing back there? Right. <laughs> Not dangerous at all. Getting them all ready for us. Yeah. Yeah. Dialing them up. Wild up good. Jump on there. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, that's a he's, big a, one right he's there. a nice boy inside though. I rode him. I rode him. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. So inevitably, one gets through the chute without getting any or some of the things done to it that it needs to get done. <laughs> and when that happens, you're better off just grabbing a horse, roping the thing, throwing it down and getting it done out there in the field.
So the reason this calf got missed was he got branded, but they forgot to put a band on him. What a band is, is a little rubber band. It's a really small Cheerio rubber band that actually you put over the testicles and it makes them fall off. In the old days, they would have cut the testicles open and taken them out, but that that has a lot of risk of infection. So instead of doing that, you put a band on it, it seals off the blood, they fall off in a few days, and you don't have any of that infection problem. So that's what she's doing here. Go. All right, the calves have all been branded and vaccinated and taken care of. Now it's time for them to go back out with their mothers and pair back up again. Their day is over. So one of the one of the easiest ways to let your horse graze around a little bit and not get away from you too fat, too bad, is with hobbles. So you can see these hobbles down here. They tie both of the front feet together like that with this strap. Now it's, oh, are you gonna put yours on? Yes. Oh. It's much easier to do when their feet are actually even with each other and close together, right? Yes, it is. <laughs> Otherwise, they just, it gets too long and then they get away from you. Uh-huh. Or they fall off. So, Jane Lee, this makes the horse completely immobile, right? I mean, no. he can't even... <laughs> Once Red gets going, he lunges. <laughs> she just takes little tiny steps. She, she just moves, scoots she along? She just scoots. And he can't figure out how to move until when he finally does, then it's all these big lunges. <laughs> yes, I... Otherwise, he just does a circle with them. I've act, we had a horse... Like that. <laughs> yes, like that. He's just circling around. We had a horse named General that actually went faster with the hobbles on than without because he would just run Corey's wide open. blue horse, if you, you'd have to watch him on the trails too because he'd all of a sudden just start just taking off. Taking yep. off and you'd <laughs> yeah. have to get ahead of him and be like, no, you're not going to. But what is your brand that we branded these calves with? Uh, Lazy Y Hanging K. And it doesn't stand for anything. <laughs> and it doesn't stand for anything? It's just no. what they could get? I think it was, I think my grandfather picked it up from the place we're on now, but I think he had a different one in there. The lake was up there, I'm not sure. Oh, I see. And how many, how many did we do I think there today? was 340 in that group. 340? And then you have how many at home? There's several hundred at home still. Oh, a whole bunch more to do, huh? Yeah. Twice that many? No. I mean, another... There's a couple hundred. A couple hundred. Yeah. And that only, that, doing the three tables, that only took us what? Took you what? Through two hours? Three hours? It didn't take three. I don't know. I didn't see when we started. Oh, it was two? twelve thirty when we banded that last calf out here. So I hey, Bev. Oh, wow. Did you did you bring <laughs> lunch? Yes, did you, I did. Did, did you she cook did. the whole thing too? Yes, I did. Oh my goodness. Yeah. She did. So, did he eat yeah. it all yet? Uh, Nobody was the first up to get some. Well, that's good for him. <laughs> he's in dessert already. Yeah, he's in dessert. Did you eat something, honey? Not yet. I didn't do anything all day, well, so I, I didn't contribute I didn't do anything a whole either, lot. but I'm still going to eat. <laughs> I bet you put your Bev's video. cooking. Yeah. <laughs> I did it in, in over several days. Did you? Freezer. There you Freezer go. Good idea. Yeah. Recording me. I'm recording you. Yeah. Oh. Hey, did you eat? What did you eat first? Is this what you're starting mm -hmm. with? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what he's starting with. <laughs> Can't have that on. Huh? Can't have that on. Oh, that's it's. I just have to say, not a sponsor. Yeah. That's what I have to say. <laughs> hey, Sorry, are you, are yeah. you getting interviewed right no. now? No. Yes. Oh, this yeah. is Logan. Yeah. He is a sponsor. I got a few questions for you, Buck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I like having him on the camera because he's yeah, he's just like covered, you can just it. tell he just like totally red and yeah. uh, <laughs> immediately just like Tyler. Yeah, <laughs> Tyler's Tyler. He likes to be in front of the camera. He's all right, aren't you? Aren't you, buddy? 
Yeah. Come on, yes. go thumbs up. You can grab oh, shit up here. Right? There. Yeah. I guess this is. I think I got most of it. I better get used to it. I guess there's gonna be cameras at the next one I'm going to too. So. What's that one? <laughs> it's it's up in Whitefish. We're doing oh, Big Mountain Ranch. Nice. And a brand 40 Wagyu cows. Mm. Is it, Wagyu. Am I looking the right way? Do I look at you or okay? <laughs> Whichever one. Wagyu. Yep. Wagyu Angus. Yeah. And what are they? We call them the dirty Wanguses. I see. Yes. <laughs> yep. yep. The only thing left to do after we ate some lunch was to turn the cows back out into the pasture that we gathered them from that morning. A couple of them were a little curious about the camera sitting in the gate. 